Taking notes, we all do it. As a student, I spend a lot of time filtering out important information out of documents, books or other sources. So I ask myself sometimes, am I doing it right? Because making notes smartly and efficiently isn't that easy at all. Hi, my name is David and I'm a third year medical student from Switzerland. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a very effective technique called the Zettelkasten method to make notes more effectively. It was developed by Lumen, a German sociologist, and it really made him more efficient. He published 58 books and a lot of articles thanks to this method. And in this video, I'm gonna show you this technique with Nimbus Note, a workspace that lets you create notes, wikis, databases, and more stuff. So the principle is to build a network of knowledge. This way, by building connections among similar contents of different books or articles, you're able to build own creative ideas and meaningful thoughts. Lumen at his time did this with a pen, cards and two boxes. Today, thanks to advanced technology, we can digitize everything. So I'm gonna make use of Lumen's Zettelkasten method by doing the following steps for my own personal strategy. First, we're going to build our database. We're gonna take a random article from the New York Times and open a new folder. We copy paste the URL of the article and fill in all the important key elements. This helps us to orientate ourselves if we have to refer to the notes again after a longer period of time. If you want to edit another article, we just open a new folder for it. If you want to write any additional notes to the article that could be useful, then you could open a subfolder as well. After that, we want to make literature notes, which means we start by reading the article and then mark a paragraph we think is important and then summarize it in our own words, as this helps us to really understand the topic. Now we continue with reading and then copy paste again an important part and write again a literature note. This time we think it's so important that we add an own idea corresponding to the literature note. This is our fleeting note. Fleeting notes are thoughts and ideas you develop corresponding to your literature notes. Now comes the important part, which is to decide which fleeting notes get to be selected as permanent notes. We sort all of our notes into important and unimportant notes. The important ones are finally our permanent notes. We take them out and rewrite them if necessary. I do it like this. I copy paste them in an additional note within the folder and then add tags that suit the permanent note best. Like this, you can connect several similar permanent notes of different sources more easily with each other by typing in the tag, for example. This enables a denser network of your knowledge and improves your final product. For example, if you want to write a book yourself. Now to sweeten up this video, I'm gonna show you some additional features of Nimbus Note, which could potentially support your workflow and even be useful for the Zettelkasten template. You can, for example, rate the article you consumed and do it directly in your table. You can add attachments, for example, a PDF. This is especially important if you possess only a PDF version of your source. Another interesting thing is the possibility to select a certain folder in Nimbus Note and add it to your bookmarks. This way you're able to access it more easily and rapidly. So we're coming to an end. I hope I could help you on your own individual journey to become a more productive person and not waste too much time anymore. Just to let you know, you can find even more complex Zettelkasten implementations on YouTube. But for me personally, this technique would be Enough. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about Lumen's Zettelkasten method and Nimbus Note. I personally really like Nimbus Note. It has very useful features and a unique design. That's why I'm gonna use it for further projects from now on. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.